Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Gareth from Park Cameras, and we're looking at the brand new Canon RF 50mm f1.8 lens. And this is essentially the nifty 50 for the RF mount, which, to be honest, is actually a pretty big deal. As an affordable, fast 50mm lens, the Nifty 50 is an absolute staple of any camera bag, so having a native option for the RF mount is genuinely great. Now, Canon were quick to point out this is not just the same as the EF version, but with the RF mount, it is a new optical design, rather than just an added tube to make it slightly further away from the camera. But it still keeps everything that you would probably come to expect from a Nifty 50. And that means it's compact, it's lightweight, I think it pairs extremely well with something like the R5 or the R6, or of course the R and the RP, it sits very nicely on the front of all of those cameras. And there are some really nice improvements over the EF version. So first of all, image quality looks to be better, just overall, and that means it's sharper, especially in the center, and you get a nicer overall image with less ghosting. Now that's, that's partly down to the new aspherical lens, which improves the image quality, as well as the super spectra coating but it does look really nice. Now, I was always a big fan of my EF version of the Nifty 50. I always actually really liked using that, I'd take it out because it was nice and small. It was a very good all-rounder for portrait, for landscape, for street, for all kinds of stuff. And of course, it was nice and fast. And that's all the case here as well. F1.8 affords you quite a lot of options for things like bokeh, but also for things like low light, just letting more light in. A 50mm is still a great all-rounder focal length as well. I love it for portraits in particular. And this one, it works much better with the in-body image stabilization of cameras like the R5. And it's pretty much silent while autofocusing as well. And both of those things mean this can be great for video as well as for photo. Now the lens itself doesn't feel super cheap either, which is a really nice thing. I think it actually looks quite nice and it feels quite nice in the hands as well. You've got a combined focus and control ring actually on the lens itself, which keeps it nice and compact and a minimum focusing distance of just 30 centimeters, which means it really is quite versatile. Now, we only got really a first look at this lens, so not enough for a full review, but honestly, this is really exciting. It may not seem like it's that exciting, but a proper native Nifty 50 for the RF mount is a big deal. It's an absolute go-to for a fast all-rounder for most people because of the price, and it's a great way to expand your kit without breaking the bank. Now, you can check out the full details of the lens, the price, the spec, everything you want to know over on the Park Cameras website. I've got a link down in the description so you can go check all of that stuff out for yourself. If you do have any questions or thoughts, though, absolutely let us know down in the comments. If you like the video, make sure to give it a little thumbs up and a subscribe would certainly go a long way. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.